to my channel. Hey yo, hey yo, listen up, listen up, yeah. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. The wireless woman. You in charge of the girls, right? I am in charge of the girls. Are you in charge of the girls? I am in charge of the girls. Okay. All right. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, Wi-Fi's. Welcome back to yet another underground and under renovation transmission of the wireless woman. Go ahead and do me a favor on your way in and like this video. You already know that if you like it, well, I love it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. <laughs> And click the bell for notifications of when I go live and when I upload new content. Listen, first of all, can we give it up for the hair? All right, let's give it up for the hair. I'm here in Greenville. I found me a new loctician. I was feeling some type of way because I really was going to probably like keep going to Charlotte and going to my, you know, previous loctician that I had because we are creatures of habit. We are creatures of our program presets, people. And if we use something for a long time, if we like something, then we're usually going to keep it. But I tried something new, something that I always suggest that people do. You know, if you have a hypothesis about something, test it before you develop a theory. And, you know, I really love the way that my old stylist colored my hair. We had a great rapport, but maybe I tried something new and I like, do you see this? Do you see the shit? I'm going to lean in. Let me show you. Do you see it though? Do you see that shit, that gloss on the hair and the color, the color, look at this. I mean, it's giving indigo. I didn't even know your hair could be this color. So, you know, try something new. No risks, no rewards. And, you know, it's beautiful that as much as I'm anti-establishment and anti-technology, it's really great to be able to have options at the palm of your hand that you can go in and try something new. I'm on here today to have a discussion with the ladies, to get the ladies all the way together and say, I've been running across a lot of women who aspire to be more natural in their presentation than they are. But the subject of Black women in beauty, it's such a loaded conversation because the things that we are hold are not desirable are the things that we're desired for but my heart breaks when I see black women who look in the mirror at their own natural image and are disgusted by it that don't find beauty in how they get up and wake up every day and you know since I like my hair I'm like on I'll be four years in in June it is currently March so I'm three months away from my four years and I'm starting to feel a little something like Black Jesus, you know, reborn and reinvigorated by the process of growing to love just my own natural hair, the way it grows out of my head. Yes, clearly there's some manipulation when it comes to locks and woo, the maintenance. Anybody prepare me for all that. But I want you to know that it is okay to go ahead and lock your hair. I have said this about five times this week, so I felt like I should go ahead and get on this podcast and say it. Now, my niece and I, because she's wanting to start her life journey, and that's what it is. It's a journey. There are ups, downs, ins, outs. Anyone who wants to get into locking their hair for the aesthetics of it, this is not what you want to do. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. This, that's not what this is about. It really has been a journey of self-discovery for me. Um, it is something that I have had to get up, look in the mirror and confront certain demons that I had about the way I look and my perception and how I would be received and uh, accepted by other people. Um, and the process of that has been liberating. See, that's liberation and baby, I want it. 
liberation in so many other aspects of my life, which is why I'm glad I chose to do it the way I did. I went full Tracy Chapman, fast car. You get a fast car. You know, I let this thing do what it was going to do. I let it give what it was going to give. And, you know, in the early days of the process, I guess in some ways I was blessed because locking my hair was my second ex-husband's idea. Because of how things went with, went with us, I could believe that maybe he did it for the purpose of making me feel undesirable. That could have actually been the point, but <laughs> that backfired on him. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer. Because uh, this worked out. Okay. And I've managed to be in this relationship longer than our marriage. Mm. But I will say that I did have him consistently gaslighting me <laughs> through the early days of this process and saying, it looks good. You look good. Like, I know I was walking out looking like a... I know I was walking out looking like a, a buzzed porcupine, like a hedgehog, like it was the Hellraiser. Um, I, I know it wasn't there, but just changing that internal self-talk from negative to positive is a skill that I developed during that time that has worked in so many other aspects of my life, like I said. So we as black women do so many other things with our hair that are detrimental, not just to our self-esteem, but to our health. <laughs> I mean, we relax hair, hair is gone. We color hair, you know, melt it off. We do all these things. But for some odd reason, when you say go natural or like your hair now, all of a sudden it's like, ooh, ooh. You got to think about that. You got to think about the fact that the prospect of putting glue dyes in your hair wearing synthetic fabrics on your head is more appealing and acceptable than just to accept yourself as you are. You know, so it's my challenge for those women who have been, because I know somebody going to jump in here and be like, well, yeah, I mean, you're trying to put women down because they, baby, shh, hush. Hey, keep that shit. No, no, no. Keep that shit over there. Woo! But for the women who have been considering, who have been thinking about it for a long time and just need that sign, need that word to go and do it, go and do it. Lock your hair, go natural, confront what really is your actual fear that without all of this extra prosthetics, all this, all this extra stuff that we put on, you might not actually be cute. You know what else? Another secret. <laughs> Go headlong into that fear <laughs> and see what you find on the other side of it. You know, because like I said, I can get on my whole full podcast without a lash, without uh, without lipstick, without makeup, without synthetic hair, and still be comfortable in my own skin. Not because I'm so cute, not because, I mean, even though I'm eels, <laughs> but because of the journey to self-discovery. And I'd like you all to take it with me. Have you been considering locking your hair? Have you been considering a natural journey? Are you on a natural journey and considering going back? Because let's be honest, when you leave Egypt, baby, everything about your life changes, everything about your dating prospects, about your career prospects, everything changes. So, you know, this ain't for the faint hearted. Share with me your stories. You know, if you're new to a lock journey and you need some encouragement, comment down below so I can get in there with you. Because like I said, I didn't get here by myself. <laughs> I had somebody behind me gassing me up every day, gaslighting me by day and then gassing me up by night. So, you know, this ended up working out for me. But I'm here to support you as you decide to go. You can always email me as well. You know, all this information is in my description box about how to reach me, beat me. If you want to see me, I don't know how it goes anyway, but until the next time, go ahead and drop that fire headphones emoji in the comments. I look forward to engaging with you there. You are just missed. Find, take back and keep your righteous mind because obviously 
you have lost it. 